Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a quick guide showing you the steps you would need to take to go ahead and get dark energy crystals into the game from the Binance Smart Chain. I know I've been showing a lot of new players how to create a new account in the Gold Steve series. And if you went ahead and made that new account and now you're looking to go ahead and purchase a little bit of DEC and get it into the account, it can be a little frustrating if you're in the United States because you can't just directly buy it. And I know that can be very frustrating. So let me show you how I get DEC into the game when I'm looking to from outside, whether it be from a crypto source or from uh, fiat there are a couple different other ways to do this but i find that using Binance smart chain is the best way to do it now there's this post here i'll put in the description it's pretty old but it comes from when the Binance smart chain was uh uh, when dark energy crystals were added to the Binance Smart Chain, you do need this contract address if you're going to be able to trade this on PancakeSwap. We'll go over that in this post. But basically, you'll need a Binance US account. Now you can see here I'm logged into my account, Binance US. The main thing I want to show you now on withdrawal supports multiple chains, including Binance Smart Chain. So if you go to this withdrawal tab for BNB, you can select BEP20. BEP20 is the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, functionality and basically uh, you're going to want to probably buy BNB you can buy BAUSD or Tether and withdraw those to your Binance Smart Chain wallet but those but in general if you're just looking to get DNC uh, DEC you can buy BNB and then directly trade the BNB on PancakeSwap for DEC and then you're able to bring it into the game on Splinterlands so if you haven't set up a MetaMask to use on Binance Smart Chain do know that you're going to want to do some research on how to use a MetaMask if you've never had one at all. But if you need help putting it on Binance Smart Chain, I have a post here that you can skip the beginning that shows you how to set up a Binance Smart Chain wallet so you can read it if you need to. But you can come down to here, you can get the UPRs, uh, the RPC URLs for the mainnet is what you're going to be clicking on. And then the chain ID is 56, symbol is BNB, and the block explorer is BS scan. If you don't know at all what any of that means, just know that it's a new network that you would add. So see how I have Binance Smart Chain here. I also have Ethereum, Phantom, Theta, Polygon. You can set up all these different ad, uh, the, these chains on the Binance Smart Chain. To do that, you would just go here, go into settings, go into networks, and then do add a new network. You'll be brought to this page. You'll paste in, you can make the name what you want it to be. I always just do Binance, you know, a very simple name, but you could just say Binance or BSC, shorten it, do whatever you're comfortable with. But then you need to get these other pieces from this post over here. That'll be in the description as well. At that point, you will have your wallet set up. You will get your wallet address. You will go ahead, go here. Do a withdrawal, change this to BEP20. Make sure it is BEP20. If you send it to the BEP2 address, you're gonna to have to send it back into here. And there's fees on the way in and the way out of any exchange. And so just know that's gonna waste some money. You can put very small amounts of BNB in here. So you can do something like 0 0.02 BNB. And you can actually uh, preview that and see it's a 19 cents to move it out. I'd be moving out $7. I'm actually not going to send this BNB out right now. This is my second take at this video. Too much fumbling in the first one. So I did a little withdrawal on that one of 0.5 BNB. It happens almost immediately. So you don't need to worry about that. You'll see your, your BNB end up in your wallet and then you'll be able to trade. Now do know that Binance Smart Chain runs with BNB as the gas token. It is just like Ethereum, it goes up and down. So you may not want to hold a lot of BNB unless you are a fan of that token. So, but you will need to keep a little extra like 0 0.01, 0 0.02 in the wallet to be able to do your exchanges. Now let's go ahead and head over to the Pancake Swap Exchange. So. The Dark Energy Crystal, I've already added it here, but if you needed to add it, you would go to Manage Tokens, Tokens, and then you would come back to the post that I shared with you. You would copy the contract address of the token, and you would paste it in, and you will see Dark Energy Crystals are here. I've already activated the token. You'll be able to activate it. It's very important that you do this properly, and you make sure that you have the right Dark Energy Crystal here. Another way that you could make sure that you have Dark Energy Crystals on inside this wallet is from the Splinterlands game. You can see you can actually do a transfer out on Binance Smart Chain or a transfer in. So 
these are one of the ways that you can move the DEC in and out, but I could move just <laughs> like 100 tokens out and then make sure those tokens are in my wallet. But we'll go ahead and go to the exchange. So we're just gonna pick up today just 5,000 dark energy crystals. It's not very much money. That's about $15. That's what I did in the first transfer. We're gonna swap. If there's a price update, you just have to accept it. I'm gonna confirm the swap. Now, as you saw, that cost me, um, since I'm trading BNB, I had to trade a, pay a little bit more to pay the gas fee. And then once the transaction is complete, you will see this 5,000 BEC DEC show up right here. Now within the Splinter Lands, you will, need, you will need to go here and link external wallets. Then you will need to come to Binance Smart Chain and you will need to link in the same wallet address that you ha are gonna be using on the Binance Smart Chain. When you link this address, it is going to make you sign a transaction to prove that you have access to the address. And then it will be the Binance Smart Chain that is connected to your game. You will see the game is smart enough to see that I have 5,000 B uh, tokens on the Binance Smart Chain network. Then all I have to do is type that 5,000 in here select Binance Smart Chain and say I would like to transfer those tokens in. They'll confirm what I want to do. I'll hit OK and then I will just hit confirm on my Hive Chain, chain, chain Wallet just like when you do any kind of buy transaction or anything else in the Splinterlands game and bam those dark energy crystals will move over. Now they don't move over as quickly as the Hive Engine. The Binance Smart Chain takes a little bit longer and you do have to have a tiny bit of BNB in your wallet when you make that transaction or it won't go through. So that's something to know. We'll just wait a little while and those tokens should show up in my account. Oops, I hit transfer out. <laughs> well, now you can see I have 10,000 tokens out there and we'll go ahead and transfer them back in. There was no, um, I can't believe I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'll leave that in this take because that'll show. So now I'm transferring them back in. You get the notice that it takes a 12 confirmations and then the tokens will come back in. So I've got a confirmation over there, but when you're sending money in from an outside space, it does take a little bit longer. As you can see, I've told you all, I'm not a big dark energy crystal holder. I don't try to hold a lot of these because I do not trust their peg at at all so I tend to buy them specifically to use to do bidding on peak monsters and try to pick up some cards we'll take a quick look at my current card collection see if I went ahead and finished them off yet I'm working on maxing out my rares I have some bids in I need a couple more obsidians to come to me I need a couple more Macelle infantries I need a couple more Windekus. I need a oh I got my life sappers I, I updated my bid so here we go. Let's see how strong he gets on that last level. Sometimes the last level is a little bit disappointing. He might just get an HP. No, what did he even get? Oh, did he get redemption? Let me double check. Yep, got redemption. So that's actually pretty cool. So now you're talking to three cost monster that does two damage, life leeches, and if you happen to kill him, well, he kills you back. And that gives them another redemption monster for another option for the death uh, reduce all your life. There we go. We see the dark energy crystals have now hit the account from from BSC. They are here. They are in my wallet and they are now ready for me to go to the marketplace and buy or to go to peak monsters and do bids to go ahead and pick up more cards like I'm currently doing. Uh, we'll just mention a couple uh, last things on Binance US. It is a US regulated crypto exchange. They do give you tax reporting. You're not going to skirt any laws. And if you do deposits from your bank, if they are big enough, they will put holds on them for the AML rules. So if you want to buy something today and you want to and you move money in here to get money to BSC to buy it, do know that if it comes from your bank, there's going to be a hold for a few days. There's nothing that any exchange I think can do about that. Almost all of them when it comes to doing ACH transfers, do those kinds of things. If you wanna use a credit card and pay extra fees, there are ways to go ahead and buy Hive a few different places. If you would like me to cover those, let me know, but I don't use any of those um, 
so I'm, I'm not really uh, familiar with them, but this is how I've always gotten money into the game at this point. I've, I use the Binance Smart Chain. I use PancakeSwap. I didn't pay very many fees at all to put in money, so I was able to move over just enough money to buy only 5,000 crystals and move them into the game. And I, all of that I could have done very easily for probably a total of about $17 uh, to move $15 in. That maybe not might not seem great. I could have used moved in a much larger amount of money for about the same. All right, all right. I hope this helps you. If it did, let me know. I'm going to be dropping this into the Gold Steve series just because I think it's important for you to know how you can move some money into the game if you decide that you want to. Thanks, everyone. Bye.